Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike. We are the Runaway Parents. We are a camping overland off-grid travel channel and our completely modified Lance truck camper. If you're interested in seeing some of that, go check some of our past videos, get a look at that build. But what brings us here today is the Blue Eddy AC200L. Blue Eddy was kind enough to send us to us and they sent us the uh, Charger One to put in our truck and some PV350 solar panels, which I'm gonna show you later in the video, putting the Charger One in the truck and some solar input on the PV350 panels, which were pretty impressive. But first off, let's just go over some things about the Blue Eddy AC200L. It is a 2400 watt inverter with a 2048 watt hour battery. It does have a 3600 watt surge capacity, which came in extremely handy. And it, this power station did something that another power station I have that's a really, really well-known brand was not able to do with the same size inverter and the same watt hour battery. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna show you that here in a minute. But first off, dealing with this, man, there's some things I absolutely love, and there's some things that I really didn't care about on it, you know? But uh, let's go over what I really loved about it. You give it a click, and there is your power. It comes on. You physically hear the click, and you know it's on. The DC buttons, click on. Click, it lights up. I like that. I really like that, the audible sound to let you know that your, your inverter's on, your USB's on, your everything is on, you know? So looking at... The front side of the unit right here, which you're going to have, starting over here, you got your 12-volt regular car cigarette lighter plug. You got that on it. You also have a 48-volt, 8-amp plug right here. Now, what that's going to be for, Blue Eddy offers a DC-40. It's an adapter you can plug into it. You have to buy that separately. It's gonna convert the 48 volt output from this plug to 12 volts, I believe at 30 amps. So say if you have a van or some kind of cabin and you have 12 volt lights running in it or a 12 volt refrigerator, you can plug that in and run from that box and it'll give you 30 amps of 12 volt output to run your like little 12 volt fuse box to run your 12 volt stuff. I really like that, that's pretty cool. Moving on over here, you're gonna have your USB-C 100 watt output right here, two old fashioned, Dinosaur USB A's. I don't know who uses them anymore, but you're also going to have another USB C 100 watt output plug there. So two C's and two A's. And right here is your four 120 volt AC outlets right here. You're going to have them right there. And then you're going to have one 30 amp RV plug right here. And everything's got nice dust covers on it. They're really robust and they just snap in and cover up everything, keep the dust out. Uh, looking at their screen, I loved, absolutely love the screen on it. It's gonna give you your, your DC output, your DC input, your AC input, AC output. It tells you right here that AC and DC are on. You click that, your USB light's gonna light up on it. It gives you your battery state of charge and your runtime left over on your battery. Moving on along, let's move to the side of it right here. This is where everything's gonna plug into it. It's gonna come with your proprietary AC plug. It's gonna plug in right here. You unscrew the cap, and your AC plug is gonna screw in and plug in right there. You're gonna have your expansion battery port. You can use the B300K expansion battery on this. It'll give you an additional 2,764 watt hour capacity to add on top of the 2,048, which will give you longer run time doing whatever you need to do. And another cool thing about it is that expansion battery is also the battery used for the Apex 300. There's another cool thing you can do with it. The Hub 1 from the Apex 300, you can also plug into here, into the expansion battery port, and you can use the 12 volt output of the Hub 1 on the AC200L. And it will give you 12 volt output, 12 or 24 volt output, of um, I believe up to 700 and something watts, you can pull 12 volts out of it by using the hub one. So that is pretty neat. All right, moving on down, you're gonna have your breaker. You got a little screw right here for your ground if you need to ground it. Your PV input, you can do a maximum of 12 to 145 volts up to 1200 watts of solar input on this. Okay, and also when you get it out of the box, you're gonna get a nice little carrying case right here for all your cords. You're also gonna get your extension cable for your PV input. Your PV input's gonna come with your MC4 connectors and an XT90, where you're gonna take that, that extension cable that ties into your DC, it is a female XT90 in your male PV input. Those are gonna to connect together for your solar panels. Also, your car charger, your cigarette lighter adapter, it's also XT90. So that's gonna to go to that same extension cable. So it gives you the little carrying case so you don't lose anything. You can kind of keep it all together because like I said, it all is proprietary. Those plugs, you can't just go buy them. You gotta buy them from Blue Eddy. All right, and you're also gonna get your owner's manual with it. 
All right, this power station comes in at 61 pounds, which is still in a portability range. You can carry it around, nice robust handles on it. I have really big hands and my hands fit in the handles really well. It's pretty easy to carry around. Now let me get to some of the things I don't like about it. The proprietary plugs, I don't like that about it. And another thing I don't like, I wish it had a light on the front of it. I really wish it had a light. Because in my mind, with thing, power stations that are portable like this, you're gonna use them camping. The power goes out, you're gonna pick them up and carry them. So it'd be nice to have a light because your hands are gonna be full of carrying it. If you could click that light on and carry it around, or if you're at a dark campsite, click it on. I think it's really important that these have lights on them. Doesn't have it. Is it a deal breaker? No, it's not a deal breaker. I think it does make up for that, the things that it doesn't have and the proprietary plugs and whatnot by the quality. It is extremely high quality. The power lifting mode is unbelievable. Blue Yeti really does put out a quality product. So let's get out there and run it. Let's do some things with it. Let me show you guys. All right, so we're gonna get the Charger 1 installed in my truck. But as you can see right now, I've been running the E-Taker brand. We're gonna switch over to the Charger 1. My situation is gonna be a little different than most people's since I've already got the proper cabling ran and fused. But that's what you're gonna get with your Charger 1. You're gonna get a breaker, your positive and negative cable with ferrules on the end of it. But I've already got all that ran in mine, so mine's gonna be quite a bit easier. But since this one takes an XT90 coming off of it, I've got another XT90 female fitting, so I'll just put them two together, and that's gonna go into my Charger 1, give me the power that I need. So let's start off, let's get this sucker off the wall here. Excited to get the charger one in here because uh, it's going to give me about a hundred more watts of charging power than what this can provide. All right, we got the charger one mounted up here. You want to get an Allen wrench and go inside here. You're going to go in your inputs on this side, input negative, input positive. And that's where my XT90 connection is going to come in. So we'll go the input negative and we'll get it tightened up. Okay, we'll go back to input positive and get it tightened up as well. So we can just connect it back to our, my XT90 connection here. All right, now for your output side, you're gonna to wanna to put your positive negative on it. Just raise your little flap, output positive and output negative. We got them in and just tighten them up. Now when you're tightening them up, give them a little wiggle and then a little more. And that'll ensure those hairs on the wire strands will lay down and they'll get in there tight, good and tight. All right, so there's your output, there's your MC4s. All right, now with your power station turned up, this is the AC200L and this is the supplied extension for the MC4 connectors. You're gonna come over here to your, your DC input right here. Line it up and plug it in. All right, and this is where your XT90 to MC4 extension is gonna come in that was provided with the AC200L. Match it up, plug it in. Then you're gonna come over here to your output, match your MC4s up, turn the power on. All right, we're gonna open the Blue Eddy app and we're gonna add device, available devices. We're gonna bind the unit. So we show the AC200L and the Charger 1 now. We'll connect to it. All right, so let me go start the truck up and we'll see what we're putting out. All right, what we had to do here, I had to go in and adjust the charging voltage. You wanna be sure that you disconnect it from the power station to adjust the charging voltage because when it arrives, it's gonna come as 27 volts or 24 volt system. So when you adjust it to the AC200L, it's going to change it to 56 volts and it asks you to wait 90 seconds before reconnecting. So it shows you a little countdown there at the bottom. We got 32 seconds left. All right, so there we have it. We are putting in 525 watts. Just sitting here idling off of the Blue Eddy Charger 1. All right, so let's go run a couple other things. Let me shut this truck off. This truck is loud. All right, what we have here is the Blue Eddy PV350 solar panels. They're 350 watt solar panels. So we're gonna get them set up and hook them up to the power station and see what kind of production 
we get out of them. Tell you what, they are really nice solar panels. I like, I like these. They're not flimsy at all. There's some of the other brands of uh, foldable solar panels that I've used, where if you kind of bend them a little bit, you can hear them crack. Uh, these are pretty nice, and they retract back in. I do like that. You get them all set up and just adjust them a little bit. I think we're facing pretty good right there. Unzip your little zipper down here. Get your MC4s out of it. All right, I've got the power station inside the shop right there, kind of in the shade. We're going to go ahead and take a look at it. Let me get it hooked up here. All you're going to do, you can't mess it up. Red to red, black to black. Attach your MC4s. There you go. She's facing the sun. Let's go take a look at the power station, see what we're putting in. All right, there you go. That's one PV350 solar panel putting out 330 watts. That's pretty dang good production out of a 350 watt solar panel. I'll take 330 all day long. The construction of it, man, the feel, I don't know what the rubberized coating is on them. I'll have to look into that. If you know, leave it in the comments. But uh, it's absolutely one of the better quality, better built folding solar panels that I have dealt with. All right, so moving on, let's get a few things plugged up in that power station. Let's see what we can run around the property here. All right, so right behind us here, that's our Lance 1181 truck camper. That's what we full-time in on our property. We live in the truck camper. And we have our 915 that we do our travels with, our overland off-grid traveling. So what do you think? You think this uh, AC200L is going to run that new uh, 15,000 BTU air conditioner? Absolutely. You really think so? Yeah. We're going to see. So what we're going to do, we're going to unplug from shore power, and we're going to plug into the AC200L and see if we can do it. So here we go. Here's our shore power plug. Get it in there. We'll turn our... AC inverter on. All right, so apparently without anything running at all, our camper is pulling 322 watts. Go in there, turn the air conditioner on, and let's see what it can do. All right, this is the Tosat 15,000 BTU air conditioner. It says it can do 385 for four and a half hours. Oh, there we go. 530, 1338, 1563, 1620, 1290, 1280. So apparently we can run our air conditioner. It really started that 15,000 BTU air conditioner. I did not think it would do that. So it'll run for an hour? An hour and 30 minutes. So if you put the expansion battery on there, I bet you could probably do three hours with the expansion battery on it. That's pretty cool. I did not think that power station would start that air conditioner. I've got one more other thing that I want to run and kind of prove a point. And uh, something that I spoke about earlier that really shocked me. And I'm going to show you what this thing can do. So here's what I was talking about that really kind of shocked me. Here's the Anchor F2000 that we've been running on our channel, I think, since about day one. You see it in all my videos in the cab of the truck. We use it religiously. I mean, every camper trip we use it. This is our miter saw that we've been using to cut our wood with and everything out here built in the office. I got it plugged into the F2000. Watch this. It will not start that saw. So let's move over to the AC200L. has absolutely zero problems running that saw. Now these are 2,400 watt inverters, both of them, 2,048 watt hour batteries, equally. One more time. Won't do it. So, not saying that this is a bad unit, but this is a badass unit right here. It can handle the draw from that saw. This one can't. Draw your own conclusions. That being said, I'm going to wrap it up right here. It is the Blue Eddy AC200L. Name speaks for itself. High quality, awesome product. They're running some incredible sales right now. Get yourself one. You won't be disappointed at all, I promise you. Whatever coupon codes I can get from Blue Eddy, I'll leave the link in the description. Y'all go check them out, support our channel. We'll see you guys later. Thank you.